What's up everybody, it's Andrew Cuts here, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I fade and line up my beard. I had a lot of people asking me for this video, so let's get right into it. So to start things off here, I got my uh, trimmers, and I'm just making my bald guideline. I like to uh, show a lot of skin on my beard fades, uh, so as you can see there, I just pointed out the bottom of my earlobe. I kind of use that as a guide on both sides, so I know how low to go with my trimmer. So now that I set in my first initial guideline, I'm going to go ahead in with my uh, no guard open. I'm just going to go down about an inch and now I'm going to, I created myself a little line uh, so now I'm just going to go ahead and close up that clipper and work out that line. So I got to close all the way and now I'm moving it to about halfway and just fading out the rest of the way. So now I got my number one guard on and I'm basically just doing the same thing. I'm starting with the clipper open, going down about an inch and then I'm closing it up and taking out that line. And that's pretty much what you're going to do uh, until your beard is all the way faded. So everybody's going to have their beard at a different length, uh, but you're pretty much just going to repeat those same exact steps, uh, starting with the clipper open and then closing it up and taking out that top line you just created. So you're just going to keep working down uh, using a higher guard the further you go down. And then as you can see here, um, the two guard was the highest guard that I used. So now I'm just going uh, with the grain and kind of fading into the bulk of my beard. So now I'm going to go ahead and line everything up. Uh, this is a crucial step. Uh, so as you see, I got my finger and basically what I'm doing is I'm finding where my cheekbone is and I'm placing my finger up against uh, my cheekbone. So that's my guide all the way around um, underneath of my beard. I'm just pressing my finger up against my cheekbone and then I'm using the bottom of my finger uh, so I know how low I need to go all the way around uh, my beard. I think a fuller look uh, looks better in terms of having a beard uh, so I like to keep my beard uh, pretty low I you know you'll see people who will have their uh, their beards all the way up at their cheekbone and uh, I just think it looks too much like a chin strap it's gonna look a lot more full uh, if you keep it a little bit lower so I find that using that little finger technique is usually a good uh, a good spot for everybody and now I'm lining up uh, the top half of my beard and when I'm lining up the top I just try to keep things as natural as possible um, I kind of use my mouth as a guide. I kind of went a little bit lower on my top beard line uh, than I usually do, uh, but I usually try to line it up with uh, a little bit below my mouth. Uh, so maybe that, that's a guide that you guys can use as well. But, you know, it varies for everybody. Just try to keep it as natural as possible and just focus on that overall look. Uh, sometimes you just want to take a step back and just look at the big picture. Uh, don't get too locked in the, every small detail. And then I, right there, I just lined up the uh, the back edge of my beard, try to get that sharp uh, that sharp corner line. You want to make sure you have a good view of your mirrors when you're doing that. And then I just went in with the shavers, balled out the top of my beard, and now I'm just balling out underneath of my beard. I can't stress enough how important it is to really have underneath of your beard clean. Um, I find that when underneath my beard gets messy, then the whole beard looks messy. So just by keeping that underneath area clean, uh, it really just changes the whole look of your beard. And now I'm just lining up the top half with the straight razor. If you never use a straight razor, be really careful because they are difficult to use uh, if you're using them for the first time. You can end up really cutting yourself up. Uh, but guys, this is pretty much the, the overall look. Um, I tried to keep it pretty simple as far as the steps go. Uh, you're pretty much doing the same steps you would as if you were fading up into your hair, but you're just fading downward. So not too much to it. As you can see, there's the difference of the, the right side that I didn't touch and then the left side that I did do. Uh, so obviously it changes your whole look. Uh, can really go really well with a uh, haircut that you just got. Or if you don't have a fresh haircut, just cleaning up your beard can give you a uh, much better look overall. So if you guys like this video, uh, please leave it a like. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think and what other videos you want to see. Alright, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.